here. So you can. Uh, so first off, what we're going to do is come into our display and reverse our direction. And we're also going to go into our sketch, change our settings, and apply a driven dimension. Those are two things that you always want to do, um, in my opinion, because now it zooms like I want. Um, so uh, if you want to create a sketch, you can just hit the S button, and you'll see this little white uh, plane thing come up. Um, or you can go to your here, start 2D sketch it's, uh, in either one of these. Um, there's a 3D as well. But um, so hit the S and it'll bring up your hotkey, and then you can click on a face. And then it'll basically just create a plane on that face. So you don't actually have to create a plane on there um, unless you wanted to create a plane, let's say, along this edge from here, and then it'll come up. And then you can say, okay, I want it at 45 degrees. So that would be a good way to do the plane. Um, another way would be is if you offset from a plane here, and then you just do it at zero, that way you could later um, drive this dimension. So like, let's say we call this offset equals zero. So then if, oops, don't do that. If we create a sketch on this work plane, and let's say we made a circle and then extruded it at, let's say, oops. You can tell that I'm in America and I don't use millimeters. So uh, then if you went to your parameters and then changed our offset parameter to, let's say, 20, then it would bump that plane up and then move it. So if you wanted to like, drive something, um, that would be a good way to do it. Um, otherwise, you can just create a 2D sketch on the face. And then you can either project your geometry and then draw your stuff um, and then do your grill command. Um, also, if you wanted to, another way is if you wanted to do a plane, there's a whole bunch of plane commands. So you can do tangent to the surface through an edge. This one, parallel to plane. That one's I uh, use a lot. So you can say, okay, I want that to be parallel to here or to there. Or to here so that way you can get planes that are flush to it so then hypothetically we could maybe create a text like so finish our sketch now we can emboss let's say and wrap the face of here and a cut and then it wraps it around so if you wanted your boss to be deeper let's say that's a good way to wrap things around, um, depending on kind of what you're doing. 